Yo, in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Dell G5 5590. Hopefully, after watching this video, you will know if you want to buy this laptop or not. If you're considering it, so enjoy the video. I'll have chapters in this video and they'll be in the description as well. So if you want to skip around and look for the products you're interested in, make sure to check there. This is the mid-range option that Dell provides. That you have a lower option, which is the G3, and you have a higher option, which is the G7. But if you're still on a Dell laptop with the 1660 Ti, there is another option for about $300 cheaper. About a year and a half ago, I bought this laptop for $750. Um, the retail price is $1,300. I would definitely not recommend paying that much for it, especially with the cost of the components in today's market. The specs of this laptop, it has a core i7-9750H, it's a processor built specifically for laptops. It is a six core 12 thread processor with a base clock of 2.59 gigahertz, but it goes up to 3.9 gigahertz base clock. It has a GTX 1660 Ti, six gigabytes of DDR5 RAM, a 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM at 2666 megahertz. Um, I believe it's CO18 RAM speed. It has a 256 gigabyte M.2 NVMe SSD, as well as a one terabyte hard drive. It features a 15.6 inch IPS display, which is only 60 Hertz. Um, you could overclock it higher, obviously, but other than that, it's like a 60 Hertz. And it has a membrane a keyboard, which has a blue LED backlight on it. And this is the 2019 version of the laptop. The laptop comes pre-installed with Windows 10 Home, however, it upgraded to Windows 11. As a 211 micro SD card reader slot, it has two USB 3.1 ports, as a power port, has a HDMI 2.0, it has a mini display port, gigabyte Ethernet port, it has a wedge lock slot, the USB C display port slash USB C Thunderbolt port, has a headphone jack, and it has one USB 2.0. This laptop weighs approximately 6 pounds, it has a width of 14.3 inches, a height of 0.95 inches and a depth of 10.8 inches. The build quality of the laptop is very, very good. The trackpad is nice and smooth. It has a nice clicky bump to it. It's made of a glossy metal on the back so you can um, see fingerprints and everything. And there's hardly any flex when it comes to the keyboard or the actual screen. In terms of cooling, this laptop's not that impressive. I only have my recording software open and my editing software open right now. It's already running at 65 degrees. That's why you can see in the B-roll, I have it lifted up on some Jenga blocks that I taped together. Um, this allows air to go underneath the laptop, so if it's just like sitting on top of your desk, then run even harder, obviously, because there's no way for the air on the re being released from the bottom of the computer to actually escape or for any intake to come in. Okay, now for a camera test, I'm currently using the integrated webcam. It is a 30 FPS 720p webcam, and I'm also using the microphone to spit onto the laptop. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Fortunately, I'm not rich, so thank you to Subterranean Secret for bench recognition 3D Time Spy. It got a score of 5,680, which is average. Um, it's definitely less than like if you had a actual 1660 Ti and a desktop. But that's to be expected with laptops. And Cinebench R23 in the multi-core performance test gets a respectable 4,214 points. And on the single core test, it got 1,025 points. Fortnite 1080p on all epic settings get an average of 115 FPS on the battle bus. 75 FPS average while dropping. And it get an average of 110 FPS while in game. Pretty good for a laptop. Again, with the cooling, I only have Fortnite open right now, and it's running at 83 degrees Celsius. Now, Fortnite is an esports title, so it relies much more on the CPU than it does on the GPU. So that i7 9750H is the one really doing the work. But ex expect games like CS:GO, Valorant, and games like that to perform similar. And AAA titles rely more of GPUs. So with this specification, so look at that average of probably 70 to 80 FPS on all high settings. That's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Check out my other videos I have on my channel that are tech related. If you have this laptop currently, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think about it. Because personally, I like this laptop, but it's definitely not for everybody. If you're looking for certain criteria, this laptop may not meet it. So yeah, appreciate everybody for watching. If you want to subscribing to my channel, it helps me out so much. Or at least like the video because I put in a lot of work. See you later. Goodbye.